Hi, I'm Julia Swift, assistant film professor at Champlain College, and I'm here to introduce one of my favorite films, Gaslight. So some of you might have heard the term gaslight before and thought, I, people talk about gaslighting someone, and what does that mean, and where does that come from? It actually comes from this film, which started first as a play. So the version we're going to show you tonight was the first film version, but it was based on a play called Angel Street. And Angel Street was made into this film version in the UK. It was a British-directed version. Um, and it kept very close to the original play in that it was this intense psychological drama, very creepy, one of the first sort of horror films. Martin Scorsese called it one of the best films of the 30s and 40s. You see in the film, it's about um, a young woman who gets married to someone uh, that lives far from where she's from, so she doesn't know very much about him, and she moves with him to a beautiful home, and what she doesn't know is that her husband has a history with the home, and there's a mystery, and I don't want to tell you too much, but what I do want to let you know is that um, her husband starts to make her think that she's going crazy. And the filmmaker uses lighting and acting and the amazing play that they had to create this very creepy atmosphere where, the woman, where we actually feel like the woman is being drawn into madness. Um, now, there were many versions of this film that came later, one directed by George Cooker, starring Ingrid Bergman, that many of you might have seen, but that was a much lighter version, which pulled away from the original idea of the play and the original idea of gaslighting as it has come to be known in our culture. So back to what gaslighting is. When we talk about gaslighting, it's when somebody psychologically manipulates you into believing that you're crazy. So in this film, we see little by little this woman who actually is very independent and very strong and very intelligent. And it's those qualities, it's her intelligence that threatens her husband and that makes her be in this position where her husband is trying to make her think she's crazy. Um, one of the reasons that I'm so attracted to this film is to me it really connects to the early psychological um, uh, uh, portrayal of women as being hysterical. What does it mean to be hysterical? We see this character in different situations in public being what people used to call the hysterical woman who's lost control of herself. Um, but in this film we see that she actually is smart and strong and it's being controlled and manipulated that is making her come across as hysterical. So there are so many cultural, political, and just plain old filmmaking reasons to watch this film. Um, I would particularly look for the use of lighting. I'm not gonna tell you specifically what gaslighting means because I want you to see it in the film in terms of how it actually is portrayed in terms of lighting, but look for the gaslight uh, and you will see it. And while you're watching it, think about um, how women who fought back and wanted to be independent and wanted to leave the house, as this woman tries to do, how they were seen um, in the early century. So uh, please enjoy Gaslight uh, right now on RETN Channel 16.